<laughs> Voters are also headed to the polls in Ohio. Adam Shapiro is live on the ground in Dublin, Ohio, with the very latest. Beat that, Adam. Good morning to you. <laughs> I don't think I can beat that unless I could dot the I over at Ohio State. But let's get into what's going on here. Because Ohio is traditionally a bellwether, and there is a lot that you have to pay attention to. First, I want to talk about the 12th Congressional District, because I am in Dublin, Ohio, just north of Columbus. This is part of the 12th Congressional District, and Democrats and Republicans are going to be pushing for this seat. Pat T. Berry has stepped down from this seat, so the primary is going to be very interesting to see who can get it. 18 different candidates, Democrats, Republicans, trying to win the primary. You've got a Mel Melanie Langahan, who's running, saying that she is a constitutional conservative. I'm a Christian conservative. I'm a Trump conservative. Then you have Pat T. Berry, who actually endorsed Troy Balderson. So that's just two of the 18 who are trying to win here a special election in August. Then you've got the governor's race. Take a look at what's going on here. Mike DeWine is facing opposition from the lieutenant governor, Mary Taylor. So those two are going at it. Mary Taylor is claiming that she is the Trump candidate in this one. So that primary among the Republicans, very key. You've also got Richard Cordray, former CFIB director, who's going to be facing off against Dennis Kucinich in the Democratic primary for governor. And then there is, of course, the race for Senate. Uh, Jim Renacci out of uh, the northern part of the state. He is the representative who is now trying to become the Republican nominee to run for Senate, facing Mike Gibbons, who's first time at bat running for office, but he was co-chair of the Trump for President campaign here in Ohio. Those two's going at it, and Gibbons has actually filed a defamation lawsuit against Renacci. So, wow. like I said, you'd be better off just dotting the I. Back to you. Fascinating stuff, Adam. Thank you. Adam Shapiro.